So you've you've done some acting, but um, what is the most memorable thing that you've been a part of with that career? Like, what is the most memorable part that you've played or the show or movie that you were a part of? Um, well, I think, actually, uh, I really enjoyed some of the stuff I did locally. Um, the very first film I did was called Terminal Lunch, and uh, it was a, a lead role with no words, no lines. So you had to tell the whole story with your face. And uh, <clears throat> I didn't really know what I was doing yet, but I... Um, I won Best Actor at the Atlantic Film Festival, so that was pretty exciting for me, and that really encouraged me to, um, you know, take it further. Because there's so much rejection. There's so much rejection yeah. in acting, and it's so competitive. I remember going, I, I went up, I got this really amazing agent in Toronto, and um, she'd send me out for things like Freddy versus Jason and um, Wrong Turn and skulls and all these really big roles and i remember one instance actually with skulls i can't remember if it was part two or part three i read for the antagonist they gave me a call back i read for the protagonist or vice versa they gave me a third call back and i read for the director and i got really good feedback and i was just there and then i didn't get anything oh that's uh it's rough yeah it's rough donc, euh, on a demandé une position mémorable dans sa carrière de, de, de actage. Il dit que préférablement, c'était localement. Euh, il avait fait un film appelé Terminal Lunch, un film avec pas de parole, Charlie Chaplin, si tu veux. Et puis, euh, ça, ça l'a mis dans une position qu'il a envoyé, qu'il a poussé pour, euh, pour des plus grands rôles. Et puis, euh, il s'est rendu pas mal loin aussi, même jusqu'avec euh, une, euh, une take avec le directeur d'un grand film. Mais il dit c'est lorsque ça, ça a arrêté. Ça n'a pas été plus loin que ça, malheureusement. So, um, for you, where do you see yourself, whether it be an actor or in, still in music, in a, in a few years' time? Well, I bought a house uh, north of Miramichi on the Barty Bogue River. It's a beautiful log house, and I've got my recording studio in there and a nine-foot grand piano, and I'm just now setting up the miking system for the, the piano, so I'm really excited about that. It's pretty idyllic up there, and I'm really happy doing that. I've got my weekly gig um, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Every week I play at a bistro, and um, I mean, sometimes when I watch films i feel like i didn't push hard enough in toronto because i didn't i didn't i really didn't after a while i stopped pushing and i got more into the music but i think that music is my first love i know that music is my first love it it was the the art form that i first started to ve to develop as a kid other than drawing drawing was first i guess Now, uh, there's something that um, I know that probably not everybody listening knows, but uh, I'm going to bring it up. Is it it's safe to say that no matter where in your career takes you in the world, that you always have a little piece of home yeah. with you? Yeah, I do. I have the province of New Brunswick tattooed on my right forearm. Broken into counties. <laughs> so what was, what was the inspiration for that? When I was in Toronto, I really missed home. And... Uh, I thought I would get a tattoo of the province so I could carry it around with me. Like a turtle carries their home on their back. Yeah, that's carry true. Carry around my arm. Donc, euh, pour ses plans futurs, euh, il nous dit que tout de suite, il y a une nouvelle, une belle maison avec un studio d'enregistrement qui est en train de se faire bâtir. Donc, euh, sûrement que la musique va continuer à régner dans sa vie. Il dit que dès qu'à la première, euh, d'un jeune âge, son premier amour était euh, fort probablement la musique, tout juste euh, avant d'être capable de dessiner aussi, qui était un de ses premiers amours, qu'il dit, mais qui va, qu va probablement continuer en musique. Puis que même que quand qui n'est qu pas en province, qui est parti faire une petite tournée, mais qui a toujours un, un petit morceau de la province avec lui, il nous dit qu'il s'est fait tatouer euh, la province, et puis donc euh, il y a toujours la province sur son corps qui le suit. So, <laughs> um, 
we're we're gonna wrap up here, I suppose. Okay. Since we we've been going for almost an hour now, um, so one thing that I want listeners to be able to do is is to be able to find your music. Where can they find your music and and get in touch with the world that you have? Sure. Um, well, I think today with Facebook and Twitter, um, the actual artist website isn't as important as it used to be it's not as relevant yeah. not as relevant exactly so but if you do go to zwerg.ca there are links to my twitter and my facebook and my youtube channel and sonic bids reverb nation so zwerg.ca your youtube channel where this video might appear there yeah, this interview maybe. might appear <laughs> um so we can obviously buy your music through itunes, iTunes as well iTunes, yeah cd baby and uh do you have your your albums in stores i do all? yeah i have them in stores locally on consignment Okay, that's perfect. So uh, be sure to go out and and look for for the music, Patrick. Donc, euh, excusez, vous voulez entendre plus de Zwerg? C'est facile. Zwerg.ca. Il y aura un link pour euh, toutes ces 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 médias sociaux comme qu'on pourrait dire, son Facebook, son Twitter. Son YouTube, tu peux aussi acheter sa musique sur iTunes, CD Baby, et puis même localement, on me dit qu'on peut trouver ses CD dans une, une couple de magasins. Zwerg.ca. Oh, ouais. So, uh, yeah, we are gonna, we're going to wrap up, but uh, I'd like to thank you a lot for coming in. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Really, really thank you. And uh, it was uh, fortunate that the, uh, the guys from Brick that do their show here, uh, yeah. well, tonight actually, <laughs> We're also uh, fans of yours, and that could get in touch with you for me. Oh, they're cool. And um, they do yeah. good stuff. Yeah. So I look forward to anything that you put out uh, in the future. I hope that you can uh, stop in once in a while. Yeah, absolutely. Pop in, and, you know, release another album. Bring Anytime. it, bring it by, and we'll do an interview about it. Great. So, um, so, so and still. congrats to you, Dylan. <laughs> You're doing such a great job. I used to teach this guy at Moncton High School. Yes. And uh, he's uh, blossomed into a very capable young man, so kudos. <laughs> did, you, did, you, did you look at your little chat? I got nothing. He doesn't want to compliment you. En français. Oh, Patrick. <laughs> T'es très beau, Dylan. Oh, merci, Patrick. <laughs> oh, oh, there we go. That works. <laughs> <laughs> ok, so ça se termine euh, nos entrevues pour aujourd'hui avec Elden Theo de la groupe Zwerg. Et euh, n'oubliez pas d'écouter euh, CKUM parce qu'on a une couple de copies ici pour tirer en onde, probablement dans le décompte CKUM avec euh, Véronique demain soir. Oh ouais. Et euh, merci tout le monde de nous, de nous synthoniser ce soir. Vous écoutez euh, CKUM à l'antenne de 93.5. FM. Et euh, maintenant, on va jouer la dernière chanson qu'on a de Zwerg aujourd'hui. Euh, la chanson I Lost a Loved One Too. Did you want to say anything about the song before we uh, play it? Sure, and I'd also like to say a big shout out to Tim O'Brien. Hi, Tim. Ha, ha. <laughs> and this song is I Lost a Loved One Too. And it was written for anybody who's lost a loved one because I know how it feels. <rire> Donc la dernière chanson est dédiée à un de ses amis qui a dernièrement perdu un de ses amis. Puis il sait comment c'est dur de perdre un ami. Donc, chanson de Zwerg. Et uh, aussi, merci Patrick pour être ici pour faire la traduction aujourd'hui. Merci. De rien. Ah, ouais. Patrick Paradis, tout le monde. <rire> Alors, il est Paradis. Ah, ouais. <rire> Ça, c'est tout le monde, la foule en arrière qui est en train de, de m'applaudir et de me crier. <rire> oui, les arbres, coconut, et... paradis. Alors, sur ça, euh, on se termine l'entrevue et euh, voici Zwerg avec I Lost a Love One Too à l'antenne de CKUM le 93.5 FM.